Should I wait for the rate to come down before I buy? Got a great email yesterday from uh, one of the production builders, uh, Eastwood Homes, Randy, sales guy, he sent me a really great little video email, and he had this graphic in it, and uh, I thought this was pretty amazing. About 1971, interest rates were 7.3%. If you waited for the interest rate to come back down, it took 22 years. I'm going to demonstrate that on this graph. In that time, home prices went up. No, he didn't say 500. Did he really? 500%. So you're waiting for the rate to come down. I like some of these lenders. In fact, the graphic on the front of my thumbnail was from Movement Mortgage, a great local firm with a national presence on, on, on building. By the way, shout out to having my last cup of coffee to all my friends from my favorite coffee cup. Bought it in New York City. Love it. So a Movement Mortgage sends out a daily temp report. If you want that, I can have one of my movement mortgage people start sending you that email where every day you get a look at the rate kind of like that. And interestingly enough, today it said 7.3%, uh, 7.338 on a 30-year conforming. If you want that email, uh, text me or whatever. Shoot me up, call me. I like phone calls, by the way. Uh, so this is bankrate.com 30-year fixed mortgage rates 1972 because you know when i get this I, I wanted to confirm this is that true is that what they were back then and then uh what i don't know how to confirm just off the top of my head because by the way jude and i are getting ready to head down to edgewater baby and by the way there are two listings in edgewater you, do you know about edgewater so you'd go about 50 minutes south uh, Lake Norman, Mountain Island Lake, Lake Wiley, that Catawba River runs all the way down to Fishing Creek Lake and Edgewater Golf Club. Uh, really great pricing down there. And I, my thought is, hey, if you can live anywhere, why not live down there? So Jude and I are going to get on a boat. It's his first boat ride today on Fishing Creek Lake at a realtor event. By the way, two things. They're, they've got a house that's three bedroom, two and a half bath with the primary suite up. It's ready for a quick move about 413 k so that seems real reasonable, and a hardy board on the uh, on the outside, fiber cement, uh, and the primary suites up on that one. My firm and my colleague uh, Stephanie Blackburn has a listing that's just like four years old, and this one's priced less than four thirteen k. This one's priced at three seventy four, and it's got the primary suite down. What does that mean? You may never have to move with that primary suite on the main level. You get old like me, you don't have to move, and so that seemed like a great price three seventy four. That's three bedroom, three and a half baths. If you want me to shoot a video of that, let me know uh, or give me a call. We'd love to represent you in the purchase of that. Uh, so let's go back to what we're talking about. Jude's all excited about getting on a boat. Yay. All right, guys. I love my life as I now know it. 1972, 7.38%. That's almost what it is today for a 30-year conforming as per Movement Mortgage National Average. That's what they give us, the National Average. That's a great email to get, especially if you're thinking about mortgage rates all the time. Uh, and by the way, in the, today's MLS, uh, my colleague at this 374 price says she's got a concept built into that for a rate buy down. And again, as these pe mortgage people say, date the rate, but marry the house. So if we can find you a nice house that you like, and I'm particularly excited about homes that are in the 400 price point because prices have gone up. I asked my colleague Rodney Jones today, why have prices gone up? He said, supply and demand. And uh, I said, yeah, probably coupled with a little corporate greed. But hey, I sold my house a year ago for more than I could have three years ago. So it's market. I love capitalism. So this concept that, again, the interest rates went up to this point in 19... 81 to 16.6 percent to which my colleague rodney jones said thank you jimmy carter and then they started going down so you're waiting for the race to go down but really can you wait all these years for it to go down and true enough they said uh in 1993 let's look at that right about 1993 1990 yeah 1993 boy that's true bankrate.com is confirming what pathway mortgage said that uh, uh 1993 they did go down but then we're, what did they do again they they started going back up and up and down market driven so here we are today uh well a year ago today 7.338 that same number a 30 year conforming uh national average so what is it what are we saying 
uh, it's hard to tell somebody, well, you know, the, the interest rates are still low when in fact they're doing looking at the mortgage calculator and realizing that, hey, can I afford this monthly payment? So that's what a really good buyer agent and a really good loan professional. And every real estate agent's got a great one, two, or three loan uh, officers that are, you know, they don't get paid till they get a closing and we don't get paid till we get a closing. So we're all motivated to get you closed. And by the way, in my last minute or so of this video, I've got a comment on the NAR verdict. If you haven't heard about it, I'll tell you. So here's where I'm going with that. If you are in the market, are you going to wait for the interest rates to go back down? Again, from here, it took them to get down to about here. So that's, have you, have you got 22 years to wait uh, for the rate to go down while prices are continuing to go up? If you need a house, you need a house. If you're relocating to Charlotte, maybe even from New York, uh, we'd love to help you. We've helped a lot of people that way. If you want to buy, if you want to sell your house in the greater Charlotte area, my team is great with that. And welcome uh, Mitchell Jones to the team from Southern California. Uh, uh, listing agent, awesome, amazing. So guys, I love that, that quote. I had to bear it out a little bit on the lender side. But if you are in the market, call me, let me know. Now this NAR verdict is kind of a bunch of lawyers saying that realtors make too much money. Oh yeah? So they just got, I had my numbers over here. So if they just got a third, if they just got a third of 1.78 billion, the law, who's greedy? The $593 million that went to the lawyers and for calling us a bunch of scumbags, I'm sorry. <laughs> we charge what we charge, it is negotiable. However, when, I'll just say it this way, when the sellers offer a buyer agent commission, that, to me, levels the playing field because I love buyer agency because we're working on your behalf. So let's just say you go list a home and you offer zero to a buyer agent. And a lot of buyers would say, oh, I can do it without an agent. I can do it without an agent. You, have, you ought to see behind the curtain how hard Sherry, our office uh, a, a closings department, works between Sherry and Kirsten on getting you from, from the contract to the close. Man, there are a lot of moving parts. And if, you, like people always say to Rodney Jones, I wouldn't have known to ask that question, Rodney. I'm glad I had a buyer agent. So let's say you got a listing agent that's offering zero. So who's going to show that home? Well, pay a buyer agent, and we're motivated to go show the home because we want to help our clients. We'll show 10 homes. But if a listing agent, oh, I don't know. Don't get me started on this. This is, this is kind of crazy. So uh, we'll see how it shakes out. Bottom line, like Rodney Jones, my broker partner says, I could pull my own teeth, but I'd rather have a dentist, you know, a professional do it. All right, guys, I'm headed down with Jude, the real estate golden doodle dude. Oh, he's not a real estate dude yet, but he is a golden doodle dude. And we're going to go down and ride on a boat and maybe shoot a video or two and have some fun. All right, guys, 704-345-3400. Hit subscribe, like, share, all the stuff the kids do in the basement. And I'll see you in the next video.